Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about the best co-op programs uh, for studying a master's in business analytics. My name is Anand Venkateshan. I'm the founder and mentor of this platform called MentorsCapital.com. Our philosophy is entirely based on mentorship. We believe that by connecting students with mentors across the globe uh, and, and coming from diverse fields, we can help you uh, gain a perspective on the admission process that is very unique and hopefully make a very, very big difference in your admission journey. All right, let's get started with our agenda for this video. Uh, I think the first question that some of you might ask is exactly what is the co-op program? Uh, well, if you don't already know this, a co-op or a cooperative program is a, a program that mixes, you know, an academic field of study with actual work experience in the form of an internship. Uh, typically, co-op internships are done with small or mid-sized firms, uh, could be startups. Uh, and, and this real-time experience, uh, you know, goes a long way in you achieving success in your career. Uh, the co-op term is a full-time work term uh, and, and typically gives you, you know, a, a minimum wage of $18 per hour, which can actually go a long way in, in making uh, you financially stable, at least earning your living expenses, if not more. Uh, it is related to the field of your study, which means that if you're studying a program in business analytics, then chances are your co-op internship will also be in the same field. So you get to apply what you learn. Uh, this typically falls uh, in, in an entire semester of uh, your program. So, so you get to learn first and then apply it uh, in your co-op term. And, and uh, while some co-op, you know, uh, co-ops can be optional, most of these are mandatory, which means that at the point of application, you need to indicate your interest for pursuing a co-op program and fulfill all the requirements. It is extremely competitive. Co-op uh, terms uh, come with that value. And, and so you need to compete and prove your uh, credentials to undergo a co-op uh, program. All right. The, the main advantages of a co-op are quite obvious. Number one, you, you get to earn practical work experience, which is extremely critical if you want to make your career in a foreign country. So, so you can convince employers that you've experienced the work culture and, and you have what it takes. Number two, you can also apply what you learn in the classroom uh, in the, at the actual workplace. Most of the time, we hear about the gap between you know, theory and actual work. Uh, and, and this co-op term actually helps you bridge that gap. Uh, and finally, I think it's also important because it helps you to discover what you're good at, uh, discover your own skills, what, uh, you know, you, you can really, really uh, be competitive at and, and highlight those uh, in your co-op term and then build upon those uh, once you finish the co-op term and come back to your master's degree, right? So, so those are the clear advantages why a co-op program should be chosen. Uh, the rest of my, uh, you know, Video is, is going to showcase four universities, four programs at a master's level uh, in business analytics that also offer you, uh, you know, full-time work experience in the form of a cooperative internship. Um, before you uh, get into the actual agenda, let me quickly highlight that most of what I'm going to tell you actually comes from the accumulated experience of the vast network of mentors that we have. Uh, we firmly believe that mentoring can really make a difference in all walks of life, uh, but especially so when it comes to, you know, gaining a professional rapport and, and uh, gaining a professional work experience that is of value, right? Uh, all right, enough gyan. Let's get into our agenda for the day. Uh, the first program that I want to highlight is the Master in uh, Master of Data Science and uh, Artificial Intelligence offered by the University of Waterloo. Uh, University of Waterloo is obviously located in Canada and it's one of the most sought after uh, universities pretty much because they offer a lot of options uh, to, to, you know, undergo a cooperative internship as part of the program. Uh, at the undergraduate level, these programs are immensely popular and, and hence, even at the graduate studies, uh, you can avail of a master's program with Remember, two work terms that are interspersed in your 16-month program, right? So not only do you study, 
you know, for an extended duration, you also gain valuable work experience of at least, you know, two work terms. Uh, uh, I, I believe that's going to be of significant value add to you. The admission requirements are fairly straightforward. You need to have completed an honors degree, uh, you know, bachelor's degree in the field of mathematics, computer science, statistics, or a related field, and should have, you know, displayed superior uh, academics. And that uh, number that they pin at is about 78% in your undergraduate program. Uh, GMAT, GRE scores are not as important, uh, at least at University of Waterloo, you can actually gain admission uh, by showcasing your skills uh, as much as, you know, the standardized test scores. Uh, the QS ranking for the university is top notch uh, and, and doesn't really reflect the kind of pedigree that Waterloo uh, holds for uh, prospective uh, master's education, right? So, so do consider and do uh, check out the university page for more details. Uh, the second university and the second program that I want to highlight is the Northeastern University. Now we shift all the way back to the US. Uh, US is obviously preferred if you want to go in for a technical field of study. Uh, the Rochester Institute, sorry, the Northeastern University is ranked 388 on the QS World Rankings, which uh, by no means actually reflects the kind of, you know, pedigree that the university holds. Uh, Northeastern University, much like the University of Waterloo is known in the US as a university that offers a lot of practical, you know, uh, work experience and internship opportunities for its students. Uh, the Master of Science in Business Analytics is a program that has a duration of about 16, 16 months and includes one entire summer term, which uh, is devoted to a co-op internship, right? With some of the best recruiters uh, in the US, uh, you know, coming on board for your internship, uh, I think the Northeastern program is pretty well sought after. Um, the third university that I want to highlight is the Rochester Institute of Technology, right? The QS ranking of above 1000 doesn't really reflect, uh, you know, why this program should be considered by you. And, and I think I'm going to throw one statistic that the university and the program highlights, uh, which is about $70,000 as the starting salary for a master's graduate from uh, the Rochester Institute of Technology. Um, extremely healthy and, and with almost 3,000 plus in recruiters uh, vying for, you know, the small batch that they have. Uh, the Master of Science in Business Analytics program is definitely one that you should consider. The admission requirements are, again, pretty straightforward. You need to show uh, a bachelor's degree uh, honors bachelor's degree in the field of computer science, math, statistics, or a related field. And uh, you also should have a minimum GPA of 3.0. The fourth program that I want to highlight is probably the silver, uh, the dark horse, right? University of British Columbia, the UBC in Canada, is one of the most sought after universities in the world in the field of business analytics. Uh, the QS ranking of uh, 47 reflects how great a place of study this is. Uh, the Master of Business Analytics program, though, is not one that has a co-op uh, program. It actually has a mandatory in in internship, summer internship of almost four months. And, and this uh, internship is actually included within the 12-month program that UBC offers. So uh, one you know, disadvantage is that it's only a year long. So, so that could affect the work permit that you get. Uh, but at the other end is the fact that you can pack, you know, within a one year program, you can pack four months of an internship, a practical internship. Uh, and if you do well in that, then then obviously recruiters are going to sit up and take notice uh, of your profile. Remember, uh, Canada is actually one of those countries where analytics and, and data science is actually doing pretty, pretty well. Right. So so definitely consider the UBC program. Uh, they do consider three-year or four-year undergraduate programs, but uh, that this comes with an asterisk because uh, most of the three-year accredited universities tend to be in US, Canada, or Europe, uh, but exceptions are made. So do write in and, and do, do your conduct your research on the same. Well, to sum up, I'd say that, well, consider Mentors Capital as a guide, as a mentor for your admission journey. Uh, we do assist you at every stage. We can help you shortlist the best of colleges. We can help you 
prepare for GRE or GMAT and, and do so online. Our mentors will also help uh, handhold you through the mock taking process and, and how to improve your scores and how to find that weak area and, and improve yourself there. Uh, our admission support processes are pretty robust. Uh, you know, we start with you crafting your story and, and discovering yourself and eventually in uh, writing the perfect SOP that the admission committees of various top universities will sit up and take notice of. And finally, most universities also conduct uh, video assessments and personal interviews. These are critical aspects uh, you know, for you to get into your dream university. And again, our network of mentors who've been there and done that can really throw light, not just on, you know, how well your story is crafted, but also how well you communicate it and how it fits with the program and university where you are going to study, right? Uh, to sum up, I'll say, you know, thank you for listening in and, and do click on the link in the description uh, to reach out to us and, and do write in if you have any queries that you would like us to answer. Thank you, have a great day and wish you all the very best.